so we are gonna do put these together in a box so that it's easy to just like dump in the stove on the stove top when okay. you're ready. So okay. we're gonna start with cranberries. And you know what? I just kind of do a handful. I don't okay. think it really matters how many. So we're not eating them, so no, right. It You're not matter. eating it. <laughs> no germs. <laughs> okay, so you just dump those in your box. Okay. Next, I think it looks good to put the cinnamon sticks in so it has a good presentation when you open. I do four cinnamon sticks. Ooh. I found that kind of gives the best last longer if you do four. That's so yummy. And then Right? Smells good. <laughs> so good. And then I do a whole cutie because I feel like if you're going to slice the oranges, it will just go bad too early. So put in a whole orange. And then the spices are really what gives it the flavoring. So we have the cinnamon in there. Okay. We're going to do ground nutmeg. So instead of just dumping it in the box, I put it in this little bag. Oops. That's not falling out all through the sides, right? Yes. So just a spoonful of ground nutmeg. A spoonful of nutmeg. <laughs> That's right. Christmas time you need nutmeg, the other time sugar. Okay, did I? Like yeah, perfect. And then you just drop it in your box. These are so cute. And then the cloves, um, a dash, can we <laughs> call that a measurement? Just a dash of whole cloves, probably like 10 or so. Okay, a dash of cloves. It's not coming out. <laughs> Like that. Yep, okay. that's it. So super simple, just close up the box. Okay. And these Chinese takeouts are a good presentation, but they're also leak proof. So if okay. the cranberries melt a little bit, the juice won't come out. Oh yeah, that was, out. cause you did, these are frozen. Right? These are frozen, Have but you, by the time you give them to your neighbors, they may not be frozen. Okay. But these um, are actually made for food, so they are leak proof. Okay. Yes. Have you done them not frozen? Like, or is there like, that's just how you always do I it? I just or? always do it that way just okay. to, so when we're packaging them, they're easier to handle. Okay. I think either way is fine. But it, and it's probably not staying in your hands. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then you'll just tie it up with a ribbon. And then just, I actually cut these off of a tree out in my backyard. Really or a garland, nice. live garland, or live greenery. You stick it on the top, and then this actually goes in the pot when you do your stove top oh. right to give it that pine scent. Ooh, I love that. And then you can add your two from tag on the top and that's it. Let me show you what you do once you have the box. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. It smells so good. So you'll want to first slice your orange. We pre-sliced here. So you'll dump yeah. Yeah, the, all the ingredients right in the pan in your nutmeg. Get it open here. Oh it's yes, just, you'll want it. that in there. It adds that little it's touch so pretty. of pine. No. <laughs> And then your sliced orange. And these do come, you can make your own or um, just tell whoever you're giving it to instructions on. Slice your orange, put it in the pan, okay. and then you'll just dump two cups of water right into the pan. And then you'll just turn it on to a low simmer. But, um, and you can add water, I mean, for weeks, and this will just continue to smell. Okay. But make sure you're checking the water or turning it off.